dollars a neck. Uh, we'll give 25. 25. Mr. Smith gives 25. 25, 25. Who'll we'll give 30? I'll give 30. 30, 30, 30, 35. Do I hear 35? 35. 35, 40, 40. You can do better than that on 50 acres. Now, come on, give me another bid, boys. How much? This time. I hope you get a good price for them lots, Waldron. Well, it's time I sell them. Well, yeah, you held them a long time. Give me three cards. Okay, I stand pat. I'll deal mine off the top. There you are. Now, you all know this Walden Ranch is proven territory. Give me another bid. Move ya! Where's the drink? Oh, senor, we have the beer, but she's all gone. Gone? You like nice coffee, no? Like nice coffee, huh? <laughs> yes, sandwich for your friend. And they're scaring everybody and eating all the food. You've got to do something about it, Dad. Dad, burn that bull Crawford. Don't start anything with that Crawford gang. They're plenty tough. Just holding a pat hand, too. You know, I never come over to your house yet to play cards, but what something happened to interrupt it. Well, I'll fix them. Dad. I'll figure I'll fix him. He's very good. Dad. Now leave this to me, daughter. Boys, hold Pedro like it in the house. Time. Have some beer. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more here for us. <laughs> All right. Let's go on with the auction sale. Senorita, you not be afraid, huh? Oh, no. You're not afraid of anybody. They don't know afraid. Those guys are all big bluff. You tell them, boo, those guys all run away, huh? So they run away, huh? See. Si. <laughs> Ketchup. <laughs> Ketchup. <laughs> Gee, Dad, you gave me an awful scare. Well, something's got to be done about these hoodlums. Why, they're running the whole country, I think. Uh, no. If my boy Dick were here... Hey, your boy Dick. You're always bringing up your boy Dick. What would he do with that bunch of hoodlums? I'll bet you a hundred he'd lick them single-handed. Yeah, it's a regular Texas terror. Yeah. Well, why don't you send for him and see what he'll do? I'll do her. Give me a pencil and paper. Yes, get him a pencil and paper. I'll show you.
<laughs> My dear Dick, I just bet that old fool Walron that you could clean up the Bull Crawford gang single hand. A letter for you, Dick. Oh, thanks. Anything serious, Dick? Get this. Dad wants me to come home and clean out a bunch of tufts. <laughs> <laughs> so your dad's gonna make a fighter out of you, eh? Oh, he's got me way overrated. <laughs> I'll bet they jump you the minute you get off the train. Yeah? <laughs> Say, Dick, why don't you disguise yourself so they won't recognize you? That's it? I'll do it. <laughs> what do you say, boys? Huh? Say, Pete, ain't you drinking? No, I just had one. This is the day the old man Sutton bragged his son was coming in. Yeah, the guy they called a Texas Terror. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down and give him a reception. Yeah. Did you hear what they said? I'm going to tell the sheriff. He wouldn't do anything. He needs their votes. Well, I'm going to the station. that Texas terror. Elsie. Why, Dick Sutton, what are you doing in those clothes? Have you gone crazy? You see? Well, why don't you go off the ranch first and see your dad and find out what it's all about? I'd like to have some fun with that gang. Oh, come on. Don't start any trouble. Oh, Pedro, this is Dick Sutton. We've got to go off the ranch right away. Oh, welcome, Senor Dick. Hi, Pedro. Muy bien. Wait, just a minute.
Keep going. Keep going. Oh, don't worry. We'll head to the pass. I've got an idea. They're not headed for the ranch. They're up to something. Going. Over to Walden's ranch. Are you going back to town? I'll take care of this. Going to the ranch now. We'll have a showdown when we get there. Where's Dad? Oh, he's probably in the house playing poker. Oh. Oh, let me help you. That must be my boy Dick. <laughs> hey, never mind. Let's play out the hand. Hand nothing. Oh, senor, senor, look. Oh, can't we ever get rid of that gang? I'm going to make Dad do something now. Oh, senor, this better not tough to just look it up. I tell you, I give you my Uncle Fiesta outfit. You put him on, you look tough too. Scare everybody away, huh? Look, my friend. Mexican hat, make you look very tough. Oh, swell. Oh, yes. He's gone, make you bad man, eh? Oh, that's fine. Hey, looky here. How do you say senior? No, no senior. Senor. Oh, senor. Oh, Mexican style. Very good, no? Where's Dick? Well, he's on the bomb with Pedro. We had trouble with that Crawford gang again. That's them now. And now, senor, you look like the Texas terror, and huh? now, senor, you watch. Ah. What's the idea, Bull Crawford, busting in on my ranch this way? Well, we're looking for an hombre that stole one of our horses. Well, there's no horse thieves here. No, oh, I don't know about that, you... Quiet. 
take off your hat to the ladies, senors. So, my friend, you lose the horse, eh? Maybe you find him in town. You look. <laughs> Hello, Dad. <clears throat> Dick boy, you look like a regular caballero. Yeah. You look so different in Pedro's clothes. I do. So you remember him, don't you? Why, sure I do. Hi, <laughs> I'm Mr. Walden. All right. <laughs> Not bad. I could use that. <laughs> Give me my hat. Yeah, <laughs> now, you boys heard him. Give me that hat, didn't you? Sure. sure. Well, let's have a little drink, then. <laughs> Hi, boys. How are you? Hello, Bo. Hello, Mike. How do you like my new hat? Hey, that's fine. That looks like Lawton. It was. But darn if it ain't brand new. Hey, I heard he sold a lot of sheep and bought himself a new hat. Sold sheep? But then he must have a lot of money. How much? That man Bolo Crawford's picking on me, Sheriff. I want you to get my hat. Oh, there's no use causing trouble over a hat. Real hat. <laughs> I don't you like it. Oh, yeah, but I like kissing better than that. This, this is a regular hat. My friend, you say the bull. He take your hat? Yes. Come with me, I fix him. We fix him. Pedro, you stay here and watch, huh? Muy bien. Senor. Pedro. This your hat, senor? Yes, thanks. Ah, my friend. You find the man who stole your horse? No. That is too bad. Mr. Sutton, he very upset. That is bad, my friend, to call Mr. Sutton such bad name. Your tongue, she is dirty. Your mouth, she need a wash. Eat this, my friend. Pizomo! <laughs> my friend, Pedro. Eat this, my friend. Eat. Clean him out.
keep away from me, Bull Crawford. Drop that axe. Thought you put it over on me, didn't you? Where's that money you got for them sheep? What do you know about that money? I won't tell where I hid it. Grab him, boys, and we'll make him tell. <laughs> Don't hang me, boys. I'll tell. You'll find what you're looking for in the feed bin. Uh, I knew he'd talk. Hold him, boys. My friend, the guns. Senor Bull, he pretty sick. Maybe you better take him home, huh? Andale, andale. Thank you. Senor. I don't think the bull, he bother you anymore. <laughs> Adios. Goodbye. Tell me, trying to show me that little black mare. She can't see out of one eye and blind in the other. <laughs> well, you better watch him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Those are hard pan willets back from the hills. That's the luckiest stiff I ever saw. I bet he struck it rich somewhere. You fellas go on inside and start a game. Well, hello, fool, you old maverick. <laughs> Come on over and join us, boys. I got plenty of dust. No, thanks. Not me. Come on. Oh, no, well, hello, men. Hello, Sutton. How are you? Fine, Hart Pan. You take a little hand with us? No, thanks. Not tonight. All right, let's get with it. Boys, here's an old friend of mine wants to sit in. Oh, man. Oh, howdy, howdy, howdy. Suppose we deal him over. What do you say, boys? Whose deal is it? Sure, yeah, All right. How's the hills up there? Pretty good. That's good. Well, boys, get ready for trouble. Sure, cut him, old boy. Big a will. Well, here we go. Well, I hope you all win. <laughs> well, sure, boy, that's some mine, I'm telling you now. Hey, watch One of the boys, you know, man. Serves good. Let's do it. Wait, I'm All right, here's a little ace full. Take a look at that, boys, and see how you like it. What's the idea? I fix your dirty tongue, senor. Now I fix your crooked hands, huh? Well, boys, let's go where we can play without someone butting in. Come on, hard pan. Well, that was a crooked deal, hard pan. I saw it. I sure it was. Come on. Why, oh, you dirty...
What's the matter with you, Birds? You can't stop him, huh? Well, say, don't forget that prospector. That's your first plane. You're right. We've got to locate that claim. That means we've got to ride herd on him till we find out where it is. Waltzes to the town at the grassroots. There's five legs. Why, it's a regular bonanza. Well, that's a rich strike, all right. Well, I'll say it is. Now, a hard rock's drawn us a map of the property. Fine. Hey, you'll have to have some help. You can't work that alone. Well, I, I figured Dick here could help me work it on shares. Give him a stake to get married on. That is, if he ever figures to get married. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you two would grub stake us for a third interest, and then we'd all get rich. Well, I'll take my half. How about you, you old tightwad? Well, uh, I'll take a chance. I didn't think you'd ever do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, get me another piece of paper, and I'll sign over my rights in case anything happens to me. Why, the property will be yours. That Crawford gang again, prowling around. Oh, she got dick. Fellas, right away, make a lot of noise and sneak back for me. I'll find out what became of that map. Oh, senorita, we had a fight and Dickie's hurt. Boy, that was sure a crack on the head. Well, why don't you get the sheriff? I don't need any sharp. It was nothing. Oh, so don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. The Bulls gang's all right. They got away. Sure, yeah. we whip them. Mm. Come on, Dick. You saddle my horse, Pedro. This is yours. Well, they won't bother us again for a while. Well, that means we have to hide this map. Yeah. Well, here, I have it. We'll put it in this uh, bacon powder can. Hi, Senor Dick, bandidos, robbers. Hi, come here.
Wonder who that bird is. He ain't so tough he can't be licked. You watch the ranch and take care of Elsie. Pedro's gone with me. Okay, oh, son. My boy will take care of them, all right. Yes, if they don't get him first. Uh, what do you say to a little hand, boys? All right, deal them up. Okay. okay. They're coming now. You guys clear out of here. You watch him. Don't let him get away. Right. Where the map is hidden. We'll get everybody out of the house, and then I'll go back and get it. You fellas start our office, draw the men folks out of the house, and then I'll search it. Measly gang again. Okay, untie. Oh, go to that map with me. I'm going to ride to town. You tell you go after Dick. Bien, señorita.
Give me that rope, Pedro, and we'll get two more. Will you? Wait a minute. There ain't no use running all over this desert looking for them. Well, that's They're what gone. I say. There. Look there. What did I tell you? He's got them all tied up in the car. <laughs> Come on, let's meet him and go to town. Well, that's a good idea. Hello, Dad. Well, you did it, son. We're taking him to the sheriff. Good boy. Get in. Go ahead, Pedro. Oh, Sheriff, Wolf Crawford took a map away from me. You've got to do something about it. men broke into Walden's home and stole the map to Hardpan's mine. Yes, sir. 
and I'll prefer charges. Well, come on, come on, Bull. Get over there. Get in the office. Come on, you. Get out of here. Come on. You're going too far with it. Come on, you. Out of here. Come on. Come on, old man. Senorita. Now that you've saved Hartan's mind, you have got to quit being a bad Spanish boy. Well, then, I'll be a gay caballero. Get it. Uh, Bonnie. Oh, oh. 